So once again, as we go to Calvary right now, as we go to the Holy, in the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, let us beg the Blessed Virgin to give us the graces we need to, number one, to desire to suffer, because the first step, say, even to being a saint, is to desire it. That's the first step. So the first step to standing at the foot of the cross is you have to desire it. Say, Blessed Mother, I'm a coward. I'm scared of the cross. Help me to stand at the cross. Help me to do prayer and penance for my wife, my children, my husband. Help me to do prayer and penance. Help me to stand at the cross like the saints did. All the saints, the holy and well, the more they embraced the cross. When our Lord appeared once to St. John of the Cross, he said, John, what do you want? Anything you want, I'll give it to you. He says, all I want is to suffer and be despised for love of you. Would that be your response? Would that be my response? I hope so, but at least we can desire to be like St. John. St. Mary Magdalene de Pazzi said, all I want to do is suffer and die for love of you. And not to die, because if you die, you can't suffer no more if you're going to heaven. All the saints talk about the cross. St. Alphonse tells a beautiful story of this nun who died. She, she had a very bad illness that was very painful. And after she died, she appeared to one of the nuns in the convent. And she said that she was in great glory in heaven. And she said, in heaven, the saints can desire nothing because you're totally content. And she said, but if I can desire one thing, any saint in heaven, they said. So I wish I could come back to earth and suffer the pains that were very severe that, I, that she went through till the end of the world. Listen to this, just, she said, for the extra glory you get for saying one Hail Mary with devotion from your heart. Do you hear what I said? This nun would be willing to come back and suffer thousands of years, the pains, the severe pains that she had. She was in agony for years. Just for the extra glory you get for saying one Hail Mary with devotion. My friends, let us pray today that the Blessed Virgin will pierce our heart and hearts and soften our hearts, that our hearts will be pierced like hearts was for the love of God, and that we will be able, willing to lay down our life for our loved ones and for our enemies, and that we will be a spectacle to the world, and we will be fools for Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, amen.